Alrighty, welcome back. We're at it again. Uh, this is what I've sanded since the last video. I did a little bit after the video got shut down. Jolene shows that on Facebook, I think she does. If you want to go there and see a few extra things, it's not, they're not long enough of videos to, to upload on the YouTube, so we send them off to Facebook. Uh, this is where I'm at right now. I've got, the, I've got a straight edge, and I just want to show you where I'm at and what I'm doing and what's going on basically what we've been doing so why would I not show you we have fiberglass and metal showing here we got metal showing there fiberglass metal showing there we got fiberglass showing there we've got metal there so we know we're in the relative area where we're stopping because we see we see enough of the ocean floors we, we know we got to stop it's a hot you know we've been sanding it all the way around we've got fiberglass metal we've got fiberglass going along here we've got fiberglass in the middle there we've got metal here we've got metal metal Fiberglass, metal, fiberglass. We know that's where the two doors come together, where the door lock is. That's where that's going on. But we're going to take this and just show you what's going on. Uh, let's see what goes on. That's nice and flat. I like that. And the re I'll tell you why I like it. Because it's high in the center, low on there, low there. So that's got a nice, it's got a nice graze to it. You're not going to see anything in that. Uh, let's, let's try this here. Come back here, baby. You want to see this? See how we got the, the straight edge on here? We've got a high spot here, so we got a little grade going on. Got a grade going on. That's really good. We'll go up here a little bit and see what's going on. We've got a nice grade going on because we've got a gap there. We've got a gap there. It's going nice. That's what that means. It's, it's always it's high. Wherever I'm putting the, the, the straight edge, it's high. Here we go again. We've got a nice little grade going on there because we've got a gap. Let's go down some. Let's go down. Let's go down this one. Let's go back here a little bit. Nice gray going on. You can see the high spot. High spot's in the center. We still got a little gray on. Nice and flat and smooth there. That looks good. Not much in there. That looks fantastic. Fantastic. We're looking good there. We got a grade there and a grade there. That's looking good. That's good because that's where the back door is. stuff's going. And we can walk that all the way down too. Walk that all the way down and check things. We're high here in the center. That's for sure. You can see that where the doors are. And that's the way it was in the first place. Come look at this. See the gap in the center? Don't want that. That's called a low spot. That would make it look bad. What we have is we have it hitting here. We have it hitting there, but we got a low spot there. That's no good. Um, that's no good. As we go up here a little bit further, I'm noticing I got a lot, of, a lot of filler here. So I can take more filler off this to make that fit better, I think. Let's go back and check it out. There's where the spot is. There's where the spot is. If I put the thing up here, I've got filler to take out here a little bit. Yes, I can. And as I go up further, I can take a little bit out. I can take a little bit out of this, this piece here, this front here. Uh, I've got metal here, fiberglass, 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 uh, fiberglass up there. But by the looks of things, everything's going fairly well as I go down. Come down and take a look, baby. Looks good and straight to me down there. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Got a grade going on, so that's good. So we got a high. The only problem we have is that low. It's the only problem we have is the low right in here. So what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is is trying to take a little bit off this high here to get that low. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Everything else going, going good. Jolene looks amazing today. I'm going to put on my little mask and I'm going to do a little bit of work and uh, see if I can't get a little bit more done. So what I've done, I just took a straight edge there and found out where the highs and lows are. We know we've got a low spot right in there. The rest of it is nice and round. Uh, basically, it's going fairly quick because I've mudded it. And, the, and you must admit, the metal work was good underneath. We didn't, you know, there was no big spots that were beat with a hammer. Or we didn't beat any of this truck with a hammer, not any of it. There's no big dents that we put in the metal. All the pieces that were welded in on the side were nice and straight. And uh, that's what we're doing. But I see that we have a low spot. I just want to mark it sort of in my piece of tape. Maybe stick it on there just so I know. Must have fixed itself while I was I 
we'll go with that. Just gonna take a little more filler down. Try to make that low, this flood, like that low. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's, and then I'll do a little bit of work down here and I'll show you how I do that. See how fast I can get it done. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to crisscross this to the front. I'm not going to go to the metal. Not there. I'm going to stay away from it a little bit, but I'm going to come from here, crisscross it back and forth a few times, and check it out. Fiberglass showing there. Fiberglass showing there. That's where the seam of the door must be. If I did not have the filler there, I would not have the chance to fix it. You can see that we're getting a little bit closer. There's not much there now. Down here, there's more. So basically, right in, right in where I'm getting marks is where it's high. Slowly, right there my thumb is, slowly we're getting it. We still got some left up here, you can see it up here. We can just make it straight. That'd be great. That'd be great.
clean up my hose there in a little bit. Still got a little tiny bit right there. Can't have that. Don't want that. Don't want that at all. Don't want that at all. That'll make your car look bad. Look like metal. What's going on here? The filler is filling a low spot, I would say, in between the door, the fender, and the door seam. That's what I'm thinking. I'm getting closer, though. Getting closer. Just keep taking some off. Keep taking some off. It still has to come off. That's all there is to it. Can't move on until I get it sanded somewhat, right? Looking good now. Looking better. Oh, we got a little bit in here. You, well, a little bit, not much. Just keep taking it down. Keep taking it down. to pull your shins up when it's underneath the truck it don't bend that way <laughs> it don't bend that way now we're getting her you can see now it's getting pretty tight there's a little spot there it's getting pretty tight what i'm going to do is just for just for me and you well for the truck actually that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get a spray bomb i wanted to go in there can i get in i'll just go in around the back I'll just be a second. I'm going to get a spray bomb and spray that and see if I can see highs and lows. And uh, we'll just check it out together, see what happens there. Just didn't want to break open the plastic. Did not want to break open the plastic. That uh, I get something that dries really fast. Got some green. This is what I'm going to do real quick. I'm not even going to wait for it to dry, but shouldn't say that. I'm just going to put a guide coat on it. Check it out. See what happens. You should be able to tell together what's going on. What am I doing? I never do it that way. Do I, baby? I don't do this all the time, but where this is long and straight like this, 
it sure would be nice to know where my high and low is while I'm sanding it. And I will know with this guide coat on it. As soon as I touch it, I should. We'll start from here and work our way down and take the guide coat off. Any green paint that stays is a low. And we're hoping none of it stays. This mask is tickling my face. <laughs> Crisscrossing crossing it all the time because I want to make sure I get the, the, the panel evenly.
Also, I have an 80 grit to run over top of this too, so there's another chance to straighten out just a little bit more. see that green paint around that metal there. That means I gotta get that down a little bit. Gone now. That was just a test for the side, get it blocked down. So I know, I know there's enough product there to make it look right. Still can have some taken off it up here. Don't need the guide coat. Don't need the guide coat on the fill because I can see it. That's a low spot in the flood. Hold this flat, I gotta have that flat. And as I'm going on a 40 on a 45 like that, it keeps it nice and round. I'm not making I'm not making it squared off. Keep going on that. See, we got metal, we don't want to go too much further. To be honest with you, I'd like to have all the metal covered. I'd like to have all the metal covered. Looks better. Holding it flat all the time, so it's got to be flat. I know it's high there. Got a little spot there that's down below the flood, and I'm trying to get it. And I'm trying to take it off, and I'll just watch closely and don't hit metal. That's quite a high spot for metal, really. I don't really like that one that much. 
There's a fiberglass. Metal. Had to bring it down though, that's where I want it. That's the ocean floor, that's where I want to get it flat. This is just as good as an eight inch block. We've got an eight, like an eight inch orbital here. And the reason I like this better than the, than the board file, because this has two motion, the board file has one. which makes this faster. Who's gonna build a house quicker? The guy with the air nailer or the guy with the hammer? I'm not saying it's done better, but I'm saying who will do it quicker. That matters all to the person that's using the tools. Metal. Metal. Just keep feeling it so I'm not digging at it or hurting it. Taking it down the right places. metal seeing our seam all the way along there another thing too when you're doing this as I've spread the body fill over the whole truck when you put little bits on, and say if I put a little bit here and then block it off, put a little bit more and block it off, every time, you, every time you apply filler on top of filler, you have a chance to wreck the filler that you've just put on and sand it every time you do it. So I, I, that's why I generally like to try to do it all at once, get everything on, sand it as once, and then you have one layer to deal with. But if you start mixing and going over and getting it and not getting it and mixing it, your, your body feels harder and softer and it gets into, you get into trouble. You, you end up working all day in a bushel basket getting nothing done. That's why I like to do it this way. Let's face it, I only filled the truck out this way because it needed it. And uh, I was not going to mess with it. It needed it. Staying on the high part of the flood to get the low part. I like to stand all my round stuff by hand after.
believe it. It's going good. Going good. Scoop a little bit more off here. Metal, obviously the fiberglass poking through, that's where what fender's welded on. Straighten it out, run it along this flat. Good. Let's show you how I'm going to do the bottom there. I'm going to take a little bit on the bottom. I got a boat roller there. Piece on the bottom needs to be done. It's got a, it's got a scallop out. I can keep digging on that, digging on that. Yes, I can, but I thought I'd do something different for a second. I'm going to take a piece of hand paper or a piece of 40 grit and put it on this boat roller here. I've got a concave shape on that on the whatever extension you call that a rocker extension I guess we call it and uh, this is my piece that I'm going to make to sand that out. Go one way, then go the other way, and it'll cut really good for you. What I'll do is I'll come down here with the DA and try to get a straight line going on there, and then I know where to take the concave up to. I can run the DA in there, but I'm figuring if I can get it done with this, there'll be no DA and I'll have it nice and straight. Sunday fun day, Sand and Bondo, me and my baby. Go the other way on it, just make it easier. I'm going to do this end to the center and that end to the center because the center should be the highest point.
back to the air. Save my arms for a second. me that means that's flat me holding that flat and that is very flat it's nice to put it on and get it like that and get it looking like something really quick it really is Fiberglass showing. 
trying to get the low spot. That's the low, low spot in the flood. I'm trying to get it, trying to make it come down to this, this, come down to that. man got metal we got a low spot in there that's all there is to it we got metal fiberglass shown there we got that showing there i've got it wore beat down as far as you can possibly go good come around the corner with that and it's not too bad just trying to get this side off i had this side borrowed down i just wanted to see if i can get this side feathered off Slow. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. We've got metal showing there. I'm gonna have to leave it. And dig that out by hand. I can do a little bit of this. Trying to get something done. Basically, about the end of it, trying to get something done. What's that baby? 45. 45. I've got 15 minutes left to see what we can get done. That's basically what I'm going for. Why not? Hey! Not bad. See if I can get that. Where this is up here, I'm not scared of this because there's no visual, there's no visual flat spot that is going to look bad unless it's low and there's really nothing low about it.
and when it's primed is when the time I get to look at it and see what it looks like. Block at. Start on this end. closer and so For a second, plug this on, show a little more shape, a little more to go there. Metal.
metal. Is Aiden here? He knows how to come in. Just want to get this spot right here, make it look right. How's that? Where are we at? 55. We got five minutes left. Come on, come on. Five minutes left. Let's get this thing going. Just trying to sand as best I can, fast as I can. Uh, trying to make my job go fast as possible. I wouldn't mind being able to fill it out in a short amount of time. There's no real easy way to do body work. It's just work. Basically, that's it. Get the electric tools going wherever you can, that's for sure. Poop myself out. I'm good. Alrighty, let's you gonna draw for a hat or a shirt? Alright, let's draw for a hat or a shirt. I just wanna sweep this bad boy off for a second. Just wanna sweep it off. As you can see, as we think we're putting Lots on. There's lots coming off. Lots coming off. And that's basically why it doesn't bother me to put it on because I know in the end it only needs what it needs. You know, I take it to the ocean floor, which is the truck, and then we know it has what it needs. No less, no more. No less, no more. Don't want to blow the truck down because of dust going everywhere. So you can see as I'm doing this, you can pound something out pretty quick if you want to. And uh, that's the way she's going. I will use power tools through the whole thing. I just, I just want to do this scallop in with that because of it's a hard thing to get with the power tools to scallop in. And uh, it's going good. Right, I'll take that Joan in it first. That was Sunday fun day, believe it or not. That was Sunday fun day. I might go out and play with the 35, maybe. We'll see what goes on. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. We have a truck down in the dooryard.
See if the, count, the, see if the computer connects. Mm -hmm. 624 comments. Thank you very much. That was more than yesterday. Anything more than yesterday is a good one. Vince Weir is going to win a hat or shirt of his choice. You are going to laugh. I fell asleep or a deep meditation watching this. Well, you know what? That means you were right at home. You, it was just like being somewhere. It was comfortable to watch. Um, I, I wore you right to sleep, and that's a good thing. Vince, you want a hat or a shirt, you'll be more comfortable when you fall asleep this time, and uh, you'll have the Hilts gear on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. I want to thank all the Facebook people, too. We're, we're, ga we're gathering there, too. Um, Jolene has a... Whoever guesses the tools that she has used, she's going to give a hat or a shirt away on Facebook just to thank people for, you know, following our stuff. Uh, it's a hard go doing body work. Yes, it is. But that's what needs to be done. And uh, right from... I don't have to say a word. Have a good day, everybody. It's Sunday fun day.